The member for Cowan. <laughs> Mr Speaker, my constituency question is to the Minister for Foreign Affairs. Uh, Minister in Cowan, I have uh, constituents of Azerbaijani and Turkish origins, and they have contacted me and asked me about the 1992-93 Armenian occupation of Azerbaijan territory, namely Nagorno-Karabakh and nearby regions. Minister, what is the government's view on this occupation, and does the government recognise these regions as belonging to Azerbaijan? The Minister for Foreign Affairs. Uh, Mr Speaker, I thank the member for Cowan for his question. I acknowledge the deep and consistent support that he provides for a number of ethnic communities in his electorate of Cowan. Uh, the Australian government has a long-standing policy of condemning the illegal occupation of uh, the sovereign territory of nations around the world. An example would be uh, Russia's illegal occupation of Crimea, the breach of Ukraine's sovereignty, and we were very outspoken um, on that occasion. Likewise, in the case of um, Nagorno-Karabakh, the Australian government's policy is to recognise the sovereignty of Azerbaijan. Uh, we do not recognise Nagorno-Karabakh as an independent state. Indeed, the Australian government supports the efforts of what's known as the Minsk Group. It's chaired by Russia, France and the United States. Other members include um, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Turkey and, of course, uh, Belarus to resolve the situation. It has been our consistent position that the governments of Armenia and Azerbaijan should come together peacefully to resolve the issue, to end the conflict and to end the occupied area of Nagorno-Karabakh. 